Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> um, my name is Melissa and I am actually headed out to do a bit of shopping. Um, specifically, I am gonna go to the library, to the library book sale. Um, they have it up year round. It's just a huge section of books they have for sale. Um, and I usually find really good stuff there. So uh, I really wanna go there again. I haven't been for like at least two months. So my plan is to hit them up. And then also um, I have guests coming for Thanksgiving, my parents specifically. <laughs> and I actually, since I'm not spending Christmas with them this year because we alternate with in-laws who we're spending them with. Um, so I actually wanna decorate my house early and um, get it ready for Christmas, hopefully while they're here to just kind of get in the season. So I wanna go to Michael's really bad. <laughs> I wanna go to Michael's and just find some stuff to decorate my new house with. I do have decorations um, just that I've accumulated over the years, but it really isn't that much in my opinion. <laughs> my husband would probably say otherwise, but I just, I am in the mood to go buy some Christmas decor. So we'll see where that lands me. Um, and then I plan on going and getting a peppermint shake from Chick-fil-A. <laughs> oh my gosh, my favorite. I have been craving it every day, basically. Um, so we'll probably get dinner there too and the shake. <laughs> um, be, a, be a reasonable person. And then uh, what else was I planning on doing? Oh yeah, I just, some random other like guest stuff I need to buy um, that I just can't find for some reason, got lost in the move. Some, some queen pillows and um, a uh, shower curtain. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna go to uh, Bed Bath & Beyond for that, but it's all within a general same area um, that I'm going to. So it really won't take me that long to hit up all these spots. But I thought I would take you along with me. This will be a very casual, like, come shopping with me type of video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy, and I will let you guys know what I find. So it is the next day. Um, I ended up getting my peppermint shake from Chick-fil-A. It was so good. <laughs> um, it's actually the second one I've had this season and there will definitely be more. <laughs> um, yeah, it's one of my favorite like holiday specials that fast food companies offer. So uh, yeah, highly recommend. But um, anyways, it was dark by the time I got home. And so I just decided I would film the next day and show you guys what I got. I got such good stuff. Uh, I thought I would show the books off first because um, that way, if you're just interested in what I got at the library book sale, you can 
close out or if you want to see the Christmas decor I got as well stay tuned um but yeah let's just get started so yeah the the library book sale um hopefully I got some good clips of what it's like it's just basically this big corner of the library that always has um books for sale and uh yeah they have a really big like romance spin shelf that I got some good romances that I'm excited to show you guys. And then um, they also have a big like fiction section um, that's very like broad <laughs> and uh, it's a little bit harder to find good stuff there. But, um, but yeah, I got three uh, historical fiction books as well. So um, let's just get started. I'll start with my romances. So each of these books were $1. And so uh, in total, for all of the books I got at the library, I spent $12, which I'm so happy about. <laughs> so uh, the first three books are going to be no surprise to anybody, um, but I found them and they're actually uh, books that I don't own yet, surprisingly. And that's a bunch of Laverell Spencer books. So these are her more um, modern covers. They're not like the super old style, but I'm okay with that. Um... I've just been eager to collect her books, whatever edition they are. So anyways, um, the three I got were The Gamble. Um, so The Gamble is, uh, I believe, a historical romance. Um, she has contemporaries as well. But uh, this one, I believe, is one where they, um, it's like a, a accidental pregnancy. And then... Um, they fall in love after they have this child together. So um, that's what I know about this one. I know this step back for this one is gorgeous too, um, but I, I'm happy to own this one. So there's this. Okay, the next one, I'm really short of breath always. So I'm sorry if I seem like I'm like really short of breath. Um, I promise I'm, I haven't been like working out or anything like recently. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just am short of breath all the time. But okay, the next one is The Hellion. So I really love this cover. Um, really pretty. And I need to get these stickers off somehow. But uh, The Hellion is a contemporary and it's a second chance romance situation. So they were high school sweethearts. And then it's 24 years later, which is a long time. Like they're going to be mid age, mid, mid age range. Um, so I'm excited about that actually. And, uh, yeah, it sounds like they were complete opposites. Um, he's an all-time hell raiser in Alabama, and she is the image of elegance, social standing, and beauty. <laughs> so, sounds good to me. Um, so there's this one. Then the last Liberal Spencer I found is one I've been on the hunt for, and I'm so glad I finally found it. It's Separate Beds. So, um, this one, oh, this one's also, uh like um, first comes the baby and then comes love. So, I mean, it even says that right here. First came the baby, then came marriage, and then came love. Um, so yeah, the there's an older, uh, an older version of the like, cover of this book that is so good, um, so pretty. So if I find that one, I'm definitely gonna buy it and replace it with this one or for this one. Um, but I am excited to own this and uh, read it. So, and I believe this one is also, is this one historical or is this one contemporary? Let's see. Um, oh, I'm gonna read the, um, the uh, dedication in the front just cause it makes my heart happy. With love to my husband, Dan, the best thing that, ha that ever happened in my life cute okay I can't tell if it's contemporary or historical but I'm fine either way <laughs> okay so yeah here's the first three um books that are all liberal Spencers so the next three are uh, romances are just various um various authors the first one is one that just popped out to me um and they actually had uh, more of this series there, but I decided I'd just pick up this one first and see how it goes. 
Um, I've definitely heard of this author before. I believe I even own maybe one of her books. Do I own more than one of her books? I don't know. Um, this is Janet Daly and it's called This Calder Sky. And this is a, I believe it's the second book in this Calder series. Um, but it sounded so up my, up my alley, so perfect for me that I couldn't resist getting it. And I really do love this cover too. Um, so yeah, I had to get it. So this one, it says a soaring epic of America's heartland by the only writer who could tell it so magnificently, Janet Daly. And it says the great Calder empire stretched across the Montana plains as far as the eye could see. Everyone knew a Calder's word was law and that one day, sorry if you can hear the dogs barking, and that one day Chase Calder would take the reins of power and carry the name to new glories. But for handsome, arrogant Chase Calder, there was also beautiful, headstrong Maggie O'Rourke who came to him in innocence and awoke in him a deep, insistent longing. But Maggie was determined to be free from the harsh codes of hard men and even Chase Calder's strong arms couldn't keep her. Still, in them both burn the raw passion of the land, where the old codes die hard, and even the greatest love must fight to live beneath. So, yeah, it sounds so good. Montana set um, and about like a family empire down there. So I am, I'm sold. That's why I got it. And if I love it, then I know there's more in the series that I can probably pick up at uh, the library if no one else buys them. So, <laughs> Okay, the next one I was so excited to find um, because I I literally have been searching for this book for months. Um, I was I keep I kept going back and forth about just buying it on thrift books because I couldn't find it anywhere in in stores and I really really want it. Um, but I finally found it, so I'll just show you. I was trying to get the sticker off. It's Simple Jess by Pamela Morsey. So. Um, this one, it just sounds so, so, so unique and so, um, perfect, I guess, for what I'm interested in. So it says, um, the last thing widow Althea Winslow wanted to do was remarry. Unfortunately, her meddlesome mountain neighbors had other plans. So one autumn night, they banded together and gave Althea a shocking ultimatum. She was to find herself a husband by Christmas or the town would do it for her. Oh, so maybe like Christmassy? I didn't know that. Um, Althea knew she had her choice of any single man in marrying, in marrying Stone, in marrying Stone, Arkansas. Is that the, is it, the town is called Marrying Stone? I think. <laughs> okay. Yet the only one she felt truly comfortable with, comfortable with was Simple Jess. Sweet and gentle, Jess wasn't as smart as your average man, but his tender manner stirred Althea's heart in ways she had never dreamed possible. It would take a miracle to find a husband in marrying stone, but sometimes miracles are right under your nose. So yeah, um, a very, very unique premise. I'm not exactly sure like how um, mentally incapable Jess is, but it sounds like maybe he just is a little bit slower than most. But uh, doesn't that sound super intriguing and, and super sweet? Um, at least to me it does. So so yeah, I'm excited about this one. Uh, okay, the next one is also one I've been on the hunt for for a long time. Ever since I saw it on... Um, oh my goodness, the dogs are going absolutely wild out there. Um, ever since I saw it on uh, Carrie's channel, Booked for Romance, she hauled it as part of her like huge hauls that she's been doing um, for like a thousand romance books. It's crazy. But um, it's a book that I just love the cover for. And that is Wild Bells to the Wild Sky by Lori McBain. So let's just zoom in on the cover here. Oh my goodness. So there's like a parrot, uh, a, uh, a panther, and it's like set in the jungle it looks like. And we've got a bearded hair hero. It's just everything. <laughs> the most tropical vibes uh, of all. So, um, and it wraps around to this really cool back as well. And it sounds like it's a huge epic love story, um, which I'm also excited about. 
So uh, it's about a woman whose name is Lily Christian. And she, um, as a like young girl, falls in love with this sun bronzed captain who came to take her home to England. Um, and then years pass and they go through a lot together. And then um, it says, drawn together into perilous adventure and intrigue, they crossed the world, won glorious renown in the service of the queen, and found their love's destiny past the ends of desire. <laughs> so I, fe I feel like it sounds kind of like a pirate romance or something, um, or maybe just, you know, a huge epic um, London, England set uh, medieval romance, maybe. So yeah, I'm very intrigued and I was so excited that I found this there. So there's this one. Okay, so those are all the romances that I picked up. Um, and then I picked up three uh, historical fictions that I was really, really excited that I found. The first one um, I've definitely heard of before. Let me know if you guys have read it and if you enjoyed it. It's called These Is My Words, The Diary of Sarah Agnes Prine, 1881 to 1901. Um, and it's by Nancy E. Turner. And it says, the thing that caught my eye about this that I maybe just wasn't paying attention to when I was hearing about it from other people, but the uh, the thing that, that caught my eye was this blurb that says, Jack and Sarah are as delicious a couple as Rhett and Scarlet. Yeah. <laughs> um, that drew me right in and that made me immediately want to buy it. So um, it's also set in Arizona, which is really exciting. As you guys know, I live here. And um, so anyways, I am really excited about this. Um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure if it's just a, I mean, it sounds just like it's like a saga that also has a, a uh, interwoven love story in there. And um, anyways, it sounds perfect. So I'm very excited that I found this in such good condition too, like no crack on the spine or anything. So yeah, so here's this first one. Um, the next one I found is a, a book I've seen in bookstores before, I haven't picked up, but it really sounds like I could love it um, because you guys know I love Irish set books. And that is an, Ingri an, Ingri an Irish country doctor by Patrick Taylor. So um, from what I understand, this is, no, it's not a memoir. I'm getting this confused with um, All Creatures Great and Small, but yeah, so this is a, an Irish, Ireland set book um, about a man who um, comes to a Northern Ire Ireland village and uh, he learns how to, he's basically apprenticed to this older physician. And then, um, I don't know. I, I think it's just kind of like a quaint uh, small town type of like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Pastoral, pastoral type of story. So yeah, I picked it up. Let me know if you guys have read this. Um, it's going to go in my like Irish section, uh, and hopefully I'll read it maybe sometime next year in the spring, I feel like is when this would be a perfect read or the summer. So yeah, pick this one up. Okay. The next one <laughs> I was so stoked that I found in such good condition. It's a hardcover and it's for a series that I just barely started and am loving and know I want to continue in. So I was like, this is a no brainer for me. This is the third book in the series, however, and I'm reading the first one right now. And that is the Maisie Dobbs series. So yeah, I'm reading um, Maisie Dobbs is the first book's title. But this one is called In This Grave Hour. And I love the um, the the title that alludes to um, the famous speech that we all know by uh, the, ki the King of England um, from the King's speech. Yeah, that, that movie is amazing. <laughs> but anyways, going back to the book. So um, sounds like this is going to be right set during World War II. And um, it follows Maisie Dobbs. She's a private investigator. And I, I'm not exactly sure what the mystery is going to be, but I am here for it. And I'm so excited that I found this book in such good condition. $2. Um, so yeah, I got to find the second one before this one. 
and either I'm gonna read them via audio, which is what I'm doing for the first one and really enjoying, or I might just read them physically because they're that beautiful. So we'll see. <laughs> But yeah, you guys, that is my huge collection. So we've got the three, um, the three historical fiction books I bought and then the six um, romance books that I'm very excited about. So it was a huge success for me going to the library. Um, I I'm just very excited about all these books. Um, so that is the book sale haul. Now onto my um, Christmas decor that I, I bought. I went to Michael's um, and went a little bit crazy. I wouldn't say crazy. This is, this is a reasonable moderate amount <laughs> in my opinion. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys what I got. So um, if you watch my house tour, you guys know that I have a circular dining table and I've been trying to find a centerpiece for it. And I saw this and thought it was perfect. Um, it's just, a classic like lantern with um, a light like a batteried light that you can turn on at night and it flickers and I just thought it was really pretty and simple and will look really good on the center of my table so I bought this one and then um, you guys are gonna love this hopefully because I love it so much um, I found a like countdown to Christmas dog themed sign <laughs> And I've actually been already using it because they have the numbers here. I was like, why not? I don't have to start December 1st. So, um, so yeah, this is the, the sign I bought that I'm going to put up. I think it's so cute and it's perfect for me, right? Um, so yeah, I love it. <laughs> so there's this. Sorry guys, my husband came home from work, so I had to go say hello. Um, but I'm back and I have more, a little bit more of my Christmas haul to show you. But um, the next thing is something very simple, but uh, means a lot to me. So my favorite song, my favorite Christmas song of all time is Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Um, specifically, uh, the movie that I don't know if a lot of people have seen, but is one that I love and adore. It's a black and white film, but it, it's called Meet Me in St. Louis. And it stars um, Judy Garland from, uh, from Wizard of Oz, who we all know and love, but she sings the original rendition of this song in that movie, and it's beautiful. I don't know if a lot of people knew, know that, that, that she was the one who sang it originally, um, but anyways, it's this is the sign. <laughs> um, I saw this and I was like, yes, I need this. Um, because it's my favorite Christmas song. So, so yeah, it's really cute. I'm just gonna put this, uh, I actually already did, but um, I'm just gonna put this on my kitchen counter. So, really simple. Um, okay, so the next thing I got is a backup. <laughs> um, I plan on putting up my fairy lights again this year on, on my shelves that I had last year and absolutely loved, if you guys remember. Um, so this is just a backup just in case one of the string lights I own is dead or isn't gonna work. Um, I thought just buying a backup would be a really good idea. So yeah, bought those. Um, let's see, two more things here. The next thing I actually lit this morning and love it. I think it smells so good. It actually um, made me really miss Seattle uh, because this is how it smells there, no joke. <laughs> um, and that is this Yankee candle and it's balsam and cedar. So it's a very like pine scent, um, very woody. <laughs> and anyways, yeah, it's it smells like what my house used to smell like, like outside. And it makes me kind of homesick, not gonna lie. But, um, but in a good way, you know, in a very Christmassy way. <laughs> so, uh, and then the last thing is actually something for Thanksgiving, which I'm hosting at my house this year. And um, I realized I didn't have anything like fancy uh, to host with, if that makes sense. Like when I go to my mom and dad's for Thanksgiving, my mom has like specific plates and placemats and um, serving saucers and like all of this intricate, elaborate um, serving wear for like fancy meals, <laughs> which I do not have at all. Um, I literally just have our, uh, our normal stuff. 
So I was like, I was at Michael's and I saw that these were on sale and I was like, okay, I guess I can slowly start accumulating this stuff. So maybe when I am my mom's age, I can like have all this stuff on hand. Um, and so yeah, I got placemats. <laughs> uh, so these are just some really like pretty green uh, pumpkin themed placemats that I thought were pretty and kind of fit the vibe of my house. If you guys didn't tell from that video, I really love greenery. So um, yeah, I thought it was perfect. So I bought four of those because it's just gonna be me and my husband and my parents actually for Thanksgiving. So uh, it'll be a very simple um, and sweet Thanksgiving for me. So I'm excited about it. But uh, yeah, you guys, that is everything that I got <laughs> yesterday. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please let me know in the comments below um, if you've read any of the books that I showed or if uh, you know you were excited about any of the decor that I bought or what you guys have bought recently for getting your house ready for Christmas. Would love to hear. Um, but with all that being said, please like and comment and subscribe if you want to see more from me and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!